What's going on guys? Today we're going to be learning about how to create the 3D iPhone effect here in Photoshop. So let's get into it. What's going on guys? My name is Brennan from Outbound Media and you can find me on Instagram at Burnwells. Before I get started, I just wanted to let anyone who's new here know that I make new Photoshop tutorials every single Wednesday, so if that's something you'd be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I have included a download link for the tutorial images down in the description below, so if you're wanting to follow along, you're more than welcome to do so. So the first thing that I did is I went over here and I have already cut out my iPhone in hand. So all I did to do this is I just used my pen tool, cut around my hand, cut inside of the screen and then around the thumb here and added it all to a layer mask. If you're unsure about how to use the pen tool, I will link one of my other videos down below where I explain everything that you need to know about the pen tool and other ways of cutting things out in Photoshop. Anyways, so once you finish cutting out your iPhone in hand, we're going to grab our move tool and we're just going to drag it into our other image. Now what we're going to do, we'll just size it up and we're going to place it where we want. So I'm actually going to scale it down just a little bit because I want the hand to sort of come out from behind this beam in the front here. So this looks, that looks good to me. So I'm just going to click my check mark and I'm going to just rename this to iPhone. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to turn off my iPhone layer so it's not in our way and what we want to do is we want to create, we want to add sort of part of this bridge to our mask that will sit in front of our iPhone. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate my background layer by pressing command J and I'm just going to go around with my pen tool and I'm just going to quickly cut out sort of this little trestle, these little metal beams and down the trestle. So I'm just going to go through this really quickly and then once I'm done I will check back in with you guys. Alright so once you have finished your pen tool selection just right click and then go to make selection and now we'll make sure our feather radius is set to zero. Click OK. Now with our background copy selected we can just click our layer mask icon. So now as you can see here if I turn this off we now have this selection on a separate layer. So if I turn on my iPhone and I drag my iPhone layer behind, you'll see that it sort of looks like it goes into my iPhone. So now when I turn this layer back on, the iPhone is now around my bridge. So the next thing that you might want to do is maybe you're not happy with ha the size of your iPhone and things like that, so I'm just going to play around with the scale of my iPhone. Sort of find something that fits a little better for what I'm looking for. So I'm going to I'm going to leave it right about there. So I kind of I kind of like how the arm comes out of the side and then we got a bit of the trestle that you see in the phone. It sort of gives it a little bit more of a convincing 3D look. So again, I'm just going to click my checkbox. Next thing that we're going to do is it depends what your what image you're wanting to match to, but in this case, I want my hand to match to the overall image. So our hand is a part of our iPhone layer, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, first of all, I'm going to grab my curves adjustment layer and I'm going to clip it to my iPhone. And now I'm just going to play around with the exposure. And then I'm also going to play around with the colors a bit. I'm going to add a little bit of blue and some greens. So the next thing that I might want to do is change the jacket color because I'm not really a big fan of that orange. So I'm just going to grab my hue saturation layer, clip it to my iPhone again, and I'm just going to play around with the master slider until I reach a color that I like a little bit more that, than that orange. So I'm kind of thinking maybe like a yellow, like that. Now of course I'm just going to grab my brush tool and I am going to just paint black onto my hue saturation layer mask. Of course make sure your opacity and your flow is at 100%. And now I can just make sure that it doesn't affect anything 
except for my jacket cuff. Just like that. So now if you see if I turn this on and off, you can see the color difference. And it sort of blends a little bit better with the overall image. I oh, missed a little spot there. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. As you can see, it was super quick and easy to create this sort of 3D iPhone effect here in Photoshop. So to cover what we did, we cut out our hand and our iPhone from our original image, and then we brought it into the image that we wanted to create the 3D effect in. Then with our pen tool, we made another selection around our bridge to make it sep on a separate layer that we could put in front of our iPhone to give it that 3D effect as if the bridge is traveling into the screen. Next, we used our curves adjustment layer to make our hand blend a little bit better. Then we changed the color of our jacket cuff to vibe a little bit better with the overall image. So there's pretty much no limitations of how far you can go with this sort of effect. You could add sort of clouds, birds, whatever else coming out of your iPhone. I'm going to leave that totally up to you, and for now, I'm just going to leave you with this. I'll leave all of that extra creative goodness up to you guys. If you did follow along with this tutorial, I would love to see what your images ended up turning out like. So when you upload them to Instagram, make sure to tag me at Burnwells, and I will absolutely love to see what you guys ended up creating. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to hit that like button and maybe even consider subscribing. I make new Photoshop tutorials every single Wednesday. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys for today. This was how to create the 3D iPhone effect here in Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I had a blast sharing this technique with you guys. Again, my name is Brandon from Outbound Media and I hope to see you back here next Wednesday for another new Photoshop tutorial. See you then.